I have rheumatoid arthritis in my genes. Both my parents, rheumatoid arthritis. All four of my grandparents, rheumatoid arthritis. I had rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis as a 17-year-old. Well, it's been over 20 years now, and I don't have rheumatoid arthritis anymore. So why did I have it at 17? Now, now I didn't have it at 15, okay? Didn't have it at 16, had it at 17, let's say 18, 19, then didn't have it after that. So how did I get it? Then I went away. I didn't have it, I got it, and then I went away. Well, if it's part of my genes, right? It should just, it should just be there forever, right? And all the people are like, well, it only turns on at a certain age. Okay, so mine turned on at 17. Why did it turn back off around 19, 20? Somewhere around 20 years old or so. What was the difference? Right? You have to understand that everything has an underlying root cause. And it's your epigenetics, which is the expression of your genes. Again, people are making too big a deal out of methylation. They're making too big a deal out of COMT. They're making too big a deal out of SOD and all the other genes. They all matter. But you can't pretend like they are the end-all, be-all, and that you're going to get something. I've got all those too. My genes, not that all that phenomenal, right? But I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm healthy, I'm pain-free, plenty of energy, right? Like, so you can turn them on and off, but it's based on underlying root causes that work with your body.